Time is near. <laughs> I wish I could sing. Good? I wish I could sing. <laughs> Good? Hello and welcome back to UnibetOpen.com for coverage of Unibet Open Antwerp. I found the man, the myth, the legend, Marcel Lusk, playing in this event. Unfortunately, the main event did not go as planned. Kings against Ace King took a big hit, but now, of course, playing some side events, which is great. Marcel, what has your impression been of the Unibet Open? Um, actually, I was uh, positive surprised. I said it before, and I, I keep saying it, that uh, you can see Unibet is doing a lot to get this out in the open, get it done better and better. I think it helped because we all know the EPTs are around, they're doing a lot, so you can pick up what you can do right and uh, of course match it. Uh, there are always small things that you can, you have to get used to it, but once you figure it out, you can see the events from 10 years ago and now are getting better and better. And uh, I'm very happy, I'm very pleased. I, I'm still trying to escape from those all-in moves from opponents that I go in with the best hand, but you know that with poker there's always a chance for people, even when they don't have the best hand, to start off with. Uh, there's the, a lot the, of the, beauty, the beauty of poker in a, in a way. Yeah, it attracts a lot of people to play the game because, you know, when the game is honest, like it is in nearly everywhere, then you know you have the best hand, you know you're 70-30 when you up against ace king with kings but still it's not like you don't have a chance when you play the worst card there's always a chance especially when you get the money in before the five cards are coming so anything can happen and we and we get a chance to dance a little bit tonight at the party so that's the benefit of it is that so yeah that is that is the case I don't know if my dancing is that good lately. <laughs> uh, one important question I also wanted to ask you. Uh, you have been and you are still the number one on the Dutch all-time money list. You've been around for such a long time. Um, how important is that legacy for you? How important is it for you to be the number one? Well, it is very important as you can see with the brand. When, uh, when you think about, and this is pure business, when you think about that I do get a lot of attention because it's a combined package. Uh, not only I look stupid with sunglasses upside down, walk in the heat with a suit on, people start to recognize you for who you are, combine that, yes, I do sing or I try to sing. So you have a certain stamp. So when you appear to be a good player as well, and then you're the number one or the number two, they, they know the number one, but they don't, mostly they don't know the number twos anymore. Now, to be the number one all-time money list, knowing this has been grinded from playing many events uh, over many years, and then have people like Jorrit smashing to get to a final table in the World Series, which is something amazing, with a prize pool that's bigger, a player field that's bigger. So the task is, I think, more difficult than ever. So you have to give great respect, but then to step ahead of it and keep grinding my way to stay number one for as long as possible. Uh, of course, I believe Jobbit is going to get to the first place because he got, he got a lot of years to come. I'm not going to be 113, but as it is, I like to keep it there because I said it before, the branding or something, if it's a name or a reputation, is very important. And the longer you can stick in there and show that you're actually the number one, uh, then they know it's not just by miracle you won a lottery. It's like because you do play a quite good game of poker for over a longer period of time. Marcel Lusk, still number one. It's great to have you here at the Unibet Open. You guys stay tuned to UnibetOpen.com for more coverage. Thank you.